Madam Madam President to give you a card. I've already thank you very much. But before we proceed to our announcements, I would like to uh, give the floor to the president of uh, the German speaking club, Larissa Zorina. She has prepared the presentation for you. It won't take too much time, but it is very useful to listen to her. Please welcome to the stage. I will show you when to. Okay. And I can also give you a yeah, hug. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Um, Dear Madam President, um, dear whoever, Mr. Toastmaster and all the Toastmasters and guests, my name is Larissa. For those who don't know me, I am a passionate Toastmaster since uh, almost 14 years. When I joined the club, or the first people I met were Henry, Natalia, Nick, and uh, Natalia Shersnyova, and also Allah Ganova. So I am happy to see them still here. So I joined the club, so the club in good standing. Uh, and I'm also a founder of a German speaking club which uh, was turned 10 years this October. Uh, why I'm here for? I would like to invite you to a special event we are pl uh, planning. would like to, to invite you to the participation of the uh, fifth international Toastmasters <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Toast <laughs> meeting in Moscow. Why it is the fifth? So the first one was held in uh, uh, March 2003. That was their German Toastmaster from uh, Bavaria, from Germany. So he decided to bring his Bavarian Toastmasters here. And seven people came. We had a very interesting uh, conference in English because there had, had not been a uh, German speaking club before. And uh, so then he said, so why not to uh, make a German speaking club here in Moscow? So we, it was the result of our cooperation was the club. So the second international uh, meeting was um, in uh, 2007, it was two in two languages. So the club also participated, Moscow Free Speakers also participated. But since then, the international, uh, the international um, meeting, it has grown, uh, so we involved not only Germans, there were Austrians, there were Swiss people coming, but we spoke only German there in the, in the conference. So we decided to change the situation and to make the very big event, which I will tell you about. This was the last conference, was a blast. So you can see the Andreas, this, this founder of the German speaking club, who is here in April. So only your club was missing, you know, a lot of, like not many, many but many Toastmasters from uh, like German speaking countries, of three, all of them. So this time we'll make it a greater in two languages, maybe some Russian in the after part. Ah. Uh, I, I've just come from the conference in Budapest. You know, the Toastmasters uh, is a huge organization, and there are so many, uh, very many, uh, like area division districts. We are still not undistricted. We are not districted. We don't belong to any uh, any um, community. Uh, so we uh, we, we used uh, Margarita and Natalia also. Uh, we used to come to, to conference conferences as a guest. So I was there again. So I advertised a lot. And that's the result, actually, the effort. And I don't even count their Facebook uh, accounts or just added me as a friend. And there are some people ha uh, have booked uh, already their, their flights. So we, we can't ex escape now. <laughs> so some of them, all those people, you know, all those people, yes? yes. They think Russian is like this? Yes. <laughs> like this? Yes. Like this, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we can show them that Russia also fits. So we, we have to break the stereotypes. Russia, Russia also fits for the Toastmasters spirit. So what is the conference actually? What is it about? So first of all, it's a bunch of very interesting workshops on communication, on leadership skills, on of using them here in the club or also outside in your life, personal and business life. So there will be master classes. There were several uh, European masters of speaking 2012, 2013. They are also planning to come, and they will teach us how to be better speakers. Of course, they, there will be exciting contests. Not not only speech in speeches, also in, in evaluations and in table topics. And you'll have the opportunity to compete with the toastmasters from Europe, also from native speakers. There are some Americans who live uh, now in Europe, so they will come. 
uh, from British people, Irish people, maybe they also make it to here. Uh, with Germans, maybe it will be easier, but who knows? You know, the, uh, this year in April, the winner, of, uh, so there were four participants, two Russians, one German, uh, sorry, one Austrian and one uh, Swiss. So you know who, who won? The German. Who was on the second, oh, sorry, the Russian, the Russian. <laughs> no, there were no German, sorry. in German language, the Russian. And who was in the second place? German. The so Russian. <laughs> two Russians won the first two places. So you just, you shouldn't think that, no, I can't compete with them. No, I'll just give up. You can't give up. You're, you must compete. And it's also good that they will compete because some of them, they, it's very difficult to get to the top and you just have to uh, win on all the levels. And some of them, they have good speeches, but they didn't win there. So we didn't hear them there, and they, they didn't deliver, and they will come and deliver it here. Of course, the value will change of ideas. And finally, step to the integration with the European Toastmasters, which is our goal, and I also met some Ukrainian people. I know that your club was visited by a Ukrainian, and we are already uh, making some discussions about uh, making creating a district, not a district, sorry, area or division, and maybe then join the District 59, the European district. So to make it possible for why I'm here, we need, so first a dedicated team, then a fair budget, means that we have to plan how, how much it will cost, so it will depend also on the venue, and then we can plan who will come and how much, how we'll organize it, and modern informational support, and, uh, including all their mm -hmm. social media, etc. And of course, the true passion for their Toastmasters. So together we can make it a fabulous event, again on the 5th and 7th April of 2014. Russia. Here in Moscow. In Moscow from Saturday to Monday. It means, so why do we, did we change, we, we choose this um, date? Because, so, this year we had a, a full Saturday, then Sunday we went to uh, show Moscow to our guests, and Monday we have our regular meeting, so we met up in the evening Monday, because we were, were quite small uh, community, where it was about 25 to 30 people coming, and uh, some of the people had to leave already, so it was a small event on Monday. But we can make it whatever we uh, plan, so it will depend on uh, how many people will come. So if you're interested, this is my, my details, if you if you can just leave them here for, for a while. And or of course you can contact Oksana or Andrei. Thank you for the support. Great. Thank you very much. Glasgow Free Speakers will participate in this conference for sure. Thank you. We will help you in organizing. And invite more Toastbusters. We will invite Toastbusters.